What's going on guys? Alex over there on 4 EDC and today I got a exciting unboxing to do for you guys. The unboxing knife is the Wii Banter and Warn Clip just because I simply just grabbed that on my knife case. So that is the unboxing knife. Um, this package is coming in via White Mountain Knives and this is the I think this is the newest Tempest Knives design to hit the market. It's not a Tempest Knives you know it's not a tempest knives knife but it's a tempest knives design through kubi um casey over at knives fast good buddy um great person in the in the you know edc world knife community um you know has tempest knives he's the man behind it and he's put out i want to say five or so five or six i want to say uh you know designs under the tempest knives brand uh, but now he is starting to branch out with a few designs. I know he has the Dust Devil, which is uh, also designed by Kubi. It is a like sort of minimalistic fixed blade. He has um, an upcoming uh, design with Concept, I think. He's shown off teasers to that. And then he has this with Kubi, which is, this is the Supercell. Um, so if you guys have seen that, you know what I'm going to be unboxing. But... I got this from White Mod Knives. I will leave a link to it in the description down below if you guys are interested. Um, they are running a code right now. Uh, if you use Kubi on most of the Kubi designs, you can get like 32.5% off. So that takes this knife, which is $125, down to like $85, which is a great deal. Um, I don't know how long they're going to be running it for, but again, um, code Kubi at the link in my description will get you, you know, save you some money on any design or any QB knife. Uh, if you also want to pick up the Supercell, that'll help you with that as well. But model KU35, no, sorry, yeah, KU353C, color dark type, 14C, 28N, plus tie, made in China. Um, so those are the stats about this knife. Sorry, I got a message through me for a second. Um, there are four different variations. There is a, they're all titanium and 14C. Um, you have a plain tie with blue accents. You have a blue anode um, with satin, I believe. And then you have a fully blacked out with bronze accents. And then you have this version that I got that is like the dark blast or dark wash. Um, everything's the same color. And it kind of reminds me of like the, the dark titanium color that is on the Kubi um, Blackout that I really, really enjoyed so much. So I figured I'd go with that. Um, I'm pretty excited. This has been a design that I wasn't, I, I didn't know Casey was, you know, coming out with this until I saw it on Instagram probably two or three weeks ago um, when they started kind of dropping leaks and things like that. Pull into that in there. Kubi. Um, please note, the knife is razor sharp. Please be careful when handling or using it. Thank you, Kubi. I will. Um, but Kubi has really, you know, started stepping up their game and they've really become a good, a great OEM for a lot of different people. I know Kevin and Colin over at Devo uses them. Um, I believe Casey uses them for, I think the, the microburst and a few other ones. Um, but they're really, you know, knocking out of the park with, can't get this dang thing out of here. I hate, sometimes I hate these packages. Um, but they're really, you know, knocking it out of the park with their OEM work, but they're also really stepping it up with some of their, you know, premium knives. And they're also coming out with a lot of like 14C and titanium knives in like that $120 category that is kind of a gap between budget and premium, which I really, really enjoy. Um, and you guys know, I just reviewed the Blackout. I really, really love that knife. I was very tempted to pick it up um, using code Kubi on White Mountain Knives because it takes it from like 175 to like... 115 i think but i wanted to you know put my money towards casey's design and i really really liked it and here it is i'm excited for it obviously got a microfiber and some paperwork now this is a little bit bigger knife um it's like three and a half inches which you know for me is a little bit bigger i tend to stick to like three and a quarter inch blades and below um but I have the Fractus from Tempest Knives that I really, really enjoy. And it's like a three and a half inch blade. So I figured I'd give this one a shot. And I'm already loving the micro milling. That was one thing that really stood out to me um, when I was looking at it in pictures. Um, love this dark blast already. And here is the Supercell. 
So you guys can see the Kubi logo right there on the pivot. This has a flipper tab with plenty of jimping right there. Has a hole for deployment, so you can thumb flick and reverse like this. You get a milled titanium pot clip that is relatively deep. Um, looks like you're gonna have about that much sticking up out of your pocket, which is not a big deal. Um, nice clean clip, and it is reversible. It's nice they give you that filler plate right there. Um, it's a lino lock, and again, it has that micro milling on it that is really, really nice and fun to kind of just rub on. Um, just gives you that extra little bit of grip. Got some oil up here. Uh, nice and slim, thin knife. Give it a flick, fires right out. Um, and if you guys are fans of, you know, Tempest knives and you've been following them for a little bit of time, you guys can tell right away that this is a very Casey designed blade. Um, just with, you know, the kind of the cockpit style hole. Um, just, it's just a very, very Tempest knives design blade. And I love it. I mean, it's just a nice, simple drop point. You have a swedge up there on top. There's a logo, Kubi, no blade play, nice jipping right there on the ramp. Oh, this thing is very, very comfortable. I mean, how, how can it not be comfortable looking at those, um, you know, handles, I guess. I, I lost my train of thought there for a second. It is an inset lino lock. Of course, this is right out of the box, but flipper tab has, it's not the stiffest detent in the world, but obviously it needs broken in. Probably could use a little bit of lube. Um, we'll try the reverse flick. Ooh, the reverse flick is money it fires out of there you guys see this has a good sound to it too um plenty of internal milling there's three big pockets milled out on the show scale side looks like there's two nice pockets on the liner lock side and wow this is i i'm really enjoying this knife i am very glad i decided to pick one of these up i was kind of on the fence but you know got it for such a good price thumb flick it and again, this has only been out of the box for a minute and probably only flicked 20 times, but that reverse flick is really, really good. The ergos are phenomenal, super, super comfortable. Um, I love having the flipper tab right there as a nice little restriction point. My thumb lands right there on the jimping on the ramp um, and you get a really good purchase. You can choke up out here, choke up a little bit right there if you, as long as you're careful, but yeah. And I love the colorway too. It's not black, but it's not, it, it, it's in the middle between being black and titanium, obviously, or plain tie. Uh, it just looks like kind of acid washed or battle worn. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, just fantastic. Feels really, really good. And I can't wait to get this in pocket. This is going to be um, in my pocket all weekend, probably. No, I shouldn't say all weekend. A lot of the weekend. Um, going home this weekend for a festival in my hometown that happens every year. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. You guys will probably see this on Saturday, so happy Saturday to you guys. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below. Did any of you guys pick up the new Supercell from Kubi and from Tempest Knives? Um, if you're on the fence, I, I really like it. You know, first impressions, 14C, titanium, great action. I mean, it looks really good. Um, I think that this is a, a really good winner in Casey's, you know, in, in Kubi's uh, in book. I, I kind of lost my train of thought there for a second, but um, yeah. So leave a comment down below. And I'm going to wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.